Hey everyone, YouTube has finally rolled out a new way to upload videos on YouTube and I wanted to show you how to use it in this video. And if it's your first time here, please make sure you subscribe so you never miss the next social media or tech video. I post these every single day of the week with over 500 videos on this channel. So if you go to youtube.com and log into your account and when you press this plus sign over here to upload a video, this will take you to the old page of uploading the video. So maybe by the time you actually do watch this video, this is completely gone but YouTube has rolled out a new option. So let's look at that option here. Let me again go to youtube.com here. And instead of pressing this plus sign to upload a video, I'm gonna go to YouTube Studio, still in beta for most of 2019. And on this page, you still get this little plus sign, but let's go ahead and press it. And now you have this new option, upload videos beta. So on the other page, I only had this, but if I come to studio.youtube.com, I get this option. Let's go ahead and press that and see what that looks like. I'm gonna upload a video to both sides because I wanna kinda compare what this has to offer compared to the old one. There are a couple of things missing and a whole bunch of new stuff that I wanna focus on. So let me here select a file to upload. So I'll do today's actual video. It's a TikTok video. I'm gonna press open and I'm gonna let this upload in the new YouTube studio uploader right here. So I'm gonna let this go. And as you could see, the video is uploading. Here's the progress bar. I'll do the same thing in the old YouTube studio here. I'll do it with a different video. So we could compare the two. Let me go back to the new one. We are mainly gonna focus on this one. I just wanna have the old one running to show you some of the shortcomings of the new one. So here, you got your title. It looks like you just pulled the title from my file name of the video, which is something I recommend to make sure your file name for your video is the same as your title. I already have my description every time I load a video to be preloaded, so I actually set that somewhere else, but I do type in a current description, and this has a new option that lets you turn on monetization on and off really easily right underneath the video, and then you have your custom thumbnails. So I could go ahead and click this while it's uploading, go to my thumbnails, and here is the thumbnail for this video, so I'm gonna just press enter and add my thumbnail. These other ones, as soon as the video is done processing, I'm gonna get the options. If I don't wanna do custom thumbnails here, the auto-generated options are gonna show up here. But you should definitely use custom thumbnails, so make sure you turn this on in your YouTube settings so you could apply it. Then you got your video URL. I usually do copy this, and I paste it right here on my description so people could actually share this by clicking or copying this link. So I always have this in my description, as well as howfinity.com the platform for all these how-to videos beyond YouTube. Okay, so that's all you got going on in this page. In the old uploader, everything was on the same page, including your tags and your premiere, your public, your ad playlist. But let's see what we have to do now to this page. I'm gonna go press next on the bottom. And as you could see, the basic info is done. Now I'm on page two, advanced settings. So you got your playlist, again, a big important setting here and I'm gonna add this to TikTok videos. This is a TikTok video. And here's one of the shortcomings that I mentioned. I can't search yet what's going on. I could add a new playlist or I could go through here, but since I have five, 600 videos, it's really hard to find the playlist I want. In the old YouTube studio, when you went to add to a playlist, you had a search bar. So I'm hoping they're gonna add this over here. Next, you have cards. From time to time, I'll add a card to my videos, which is kind of a layover text that lets you go to different videos or your website. And then here's your tags. So let me click tags and here's the other shortcoming. Really there are only two, the search option missing here and the fact that the tags so far don't allow you to have the TubeBuddy plugin working. Let me show you what I mean by that. In the old one, you see all these relevant tags. I pay for TubeBuddy, so TubeBuddy recommends to me what tags I should use. And there's a free option that shows you a few tags. I obviously have the pay, paid option that shows me all these different tags. So I'll put a link in the description to TubeBuddy. If you don't have it, you really gotta get it. It's a huge help, and I'm sure they're gonna customize it to the new upload option too. But this is basically, I just press plus and they add up right here on my tags. But in this page, I can't do that. I'll have to type in manually my tags. So just because this is missing, I don't know how often I'm gonna use it till TubeBuddy actually connects with this. Obviously it's not YouTube's fault and it's still in beta, but TubeBuddy just has to catch up with that. So let's skip tags for now. 
And then category, how to and style, that's all my videos, so I don't have to ever change that. Record date, I usually don't set that, but it has it right here. Syndication, do you want it to be everywhere? I usually just leave that everywhere. Additional setting, let's see what we have here. Enable age restriction, allow embedding, publish to subscriptions, feed, and does this have a paid promotion? So super easy to set these right here. Again, the default is good for me, but it's great to have that option here. Type of ads, you could see what kind of ads the video is set to to monetize if you have monetization turn off. So you could turn all these off or on. One of them has to be on if monetization was on in basic info. Let's collapse that. End screen, this is a weird part. If you click this, it takes you to the old end screen layout still. So hopefully by the time you're watching this, this doesn't happen. But in order for me to now add a end screen here, I'll have to go ahead and use one of these templates here. So if I was going to use one of these, this is actually my favorite one. I'll go ahead and basically set this to most recent upload and set this other one to best for viewers. Or I could apply a template that I already had on TubeBuddy, but just in case you don't have TubeBuddy, you have to manually do it. If you have TubeBuddy, you just press apply template and it does it automatically. The new YouTube studio for these end screens looks totally different. I have a completely separate video on that, so I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I'm gonna just go ahead and save. And I'm gonna exit out of this page to go back. And language and subtitles, if you wanted to set that, you could go ahead and set that, even uploading your own subtitle all on this page. Let's go press next to the last page. And again, you have your visibility, so you could do unlisted, public, and private. You could even do set as a premiere right here. And YouTube is cracking down on kid appearing in video, so it's gonna give you some guidelines over here. And the reason why it's telling you to do unlisted is making sure that you check your video before you go public, so you don't miss out on initial views. If I press done here, the video is gonna upload, and what's gonna happen is the video, the HDM 4K version of the video are not ready. So it's gonna show me a low resolution video here. So I don't wanna press public yet so I could go unlisted. I usually just wait a little bit before I go public and press done. Now this is another thing that I use in the old YouTube uploader. Let me go back over to the old YouTube uploader. It has a scheduled option where I could just say the date and the time I wanna schedule the video so I don't have to worry about it. I could give it an extra half hour for it to basically compress and give the highest resolution video available here so people are not watching this in standard def and the HDM 4K versions will be available. I don't see that here just yet. And on the bottom it says upload with classic studio so you could actually press that to go to the other page and I'll just have to give them a feedback of why that is. But this has only been up for a couple of days when I'm making this video. So hopefully by the time you watch it, you do get TubeBuddy and it's all incorporated in this upload. And hopefully they've changed the tag so you could easily use TubeBuddy to go ahead and do those tags. And the playlist has a search option and we have a schedule for public posting. Once they do roll these out, make sure you always use this new studio beta uploader. But I think for the next few weeks, I'll stick with this one just so I could get my tags. This is the number one way my videos get searched on YouTube. And since this is a search based channel, I really can't live without this yet. But I hope you found this useful and you can take advantage of the new video uploader on YouTube. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. I post easy to follow tech and social media videos every single day and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.